right hand of the couple guys, you have to reach underneath the table. It takes four feet out of this. Yeah, just wire yeah. to be careful. Just wire both yeah. yeah, There's a wire. There's up. another wire there. Just stay. Where are you trying to go to? Yeah, there's two wires. Is he gonna, are you going to move it? Or are you gonna do it? I, I'm going to start here. Just to start here, then I'll move it in a minute. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I, I got the wires in the back. They're going to lift open the, on the wall back there. Look at the wires going to it. I got two wires with the light bulb back to the wall. With the light bulb first, I'll take the light off. Wait a minute. For this one, you care about the other one, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's the first one, it doesn't matter. So we'll just run the light bulb the ball, but then we'll move everything. Okay. Okay. Did you want to turn to No. No, he wants to know that. No, he Introduce everybody to Carl Paulsness. Carl, can, Carl has uh, is one of the most knowledgeable Tesla people that I know in this world. He has he has sought out Tesla information, has uh, has a very good library, has a, an excellent working understanding, and has actually traveled to different museums, different Tesla study areas, and has has replicated circuits that a lot of people have overlooked. I guess is the best way to put it, and they've overlooked, and so we're going to kind of do a moving demonstration. He's going to demonstrate here, then move the table over, and then we're going to have a good dark spot in here where he'll demonstrate as well. So, Carl, I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, I started out looking at, uh, as everybody did, free energy. Uh, I was about 2,000 and maybe one or so I was interested in finding out an alternative way to heat my home, power my house, drive my car. Internet wasn't really what it has now. And so I sort of looked into a lot of stuff and uh, studied uh, physics at university, chemistry university. And uh, when people started talking about things like Stan Myers, I was immediately like, yeah, right. We're not going to get something more than we put into it. You're, you're, you're dreaming. And uh, started leading, people bugged me about Stan Myers and Bob Boyce and stuff like that. And finally, I got mad enough I decided I'm going to take a look at this stuff and see what we're going to get into. Started reading a lot about it and uh, discovered that there's some weird stuff happening. I can't explain it, but physics, electric uh, I was uh, working as an electrical engineer one, at a point and studying the stuff and said, this stuff does not add up. I mean, A plus B is not giving me C, what I would expect. I was getting a completely different answer. Didn't understand what's going on. And I spent a lot of time working on HHO systems. I mean, I spent years building. I built the Stanmire stuff. I've worked with Bob Boyce for several years, full time. I've worked um, uh, studying like all the systems that are built them. I have them in hand. I'm not here to come and talk about HHO. I'm very interested in it. But I got to a point where I was frustrated. Why did this stuff do what it did? And how come I can't replace it, reproduce it? I've been, I've sat in Stanmire's doom buggy. I've sat at his house. I've talked to his family. I've read the books he has that nobody else has seen. I've seen the videos and seen the pictures. The evidence is overwhelming that he did what he did, but how did he do it? <coughs> Bob Boyce, same thing. How does he do what he's doing? And it came to a point where I just did not know what to say. Well, I had a little dice here. This thing here is a piece of plexiglass, polished. As my physics teacher told me, an object in motion should remain in motion. So I start turning this thing like this. If you guys can see it, it's turning and running quite nicely. Spinning around, doing its little thing. But if we go like this, and wind it this way, it goes and reverses the same number turns backwards. Now how can that be? I go, so this, and goes backwards. It doesn't remain in motion. It goes in the side of motion. I show it to physics professors, they go, huh? It doesn't remain in motion, it changes direction. It is a piece of plastic. <laughs> then you can take it and tip it and let go, and it starts turning. It didn't remain rocking. It wants to turn this direction. 
This way is fine. Th this way, it's not. All right? So that, that's just a simple thing of physics. We cannot explain this in physics. As a physicist, this is not explainable. It will return the same number of turns I turned it uh, clockwise, counterclockwise. If I get three turns, it'll go three turns backwards. <coughs> it's a very unique thing, unexplainable, just to show that there's not, there are things that are simple, 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 we cannot explain in physics. So I started reading a lot about Herman Anderson, and I got it, went down to see James Roby, and he told me he's going to pack stuff away, and I wasn't going to see it for a while. And so I ran down to see him this winter, and then I was down there, he was talking about uh, some guy in Australia doing some neat things, so I went down and popped over to visit him. I'm not going to talk about that today. <laughs> but I go back to Tesla. I've traveled, I've been all over the world looking for Tesla stuff. I went to the... Just tell what the name of the guy is in Australia. Um, no, no. John Manning. John Manning, that's right, John Manning. <laughs> yeah, John. Okay, well, we'll talk. Manning, yeah. Anyways, I went, I was at the Canadian National Research Council Library in the vault looking at Tesla books. And I got hold of their book, and it's a tribute to Tesla, and it's a wonderful book in Serbian and in English. And I was, I spent, they would not let me take it out. In fact, I had to wear gloves to look at it. And their book was in bad shape. Well, I went on the good old internet and searched, and I bought this nice book. Same one, better copy. So if you look out there, there are books available to us. They're hard to find. This book here is a, a book from the um, Serbian Museum on Tesla. And I, I hunted for two years to find this book. And a lot of what we're showing today is right out of this book, verbatim. What I'm trying to show you today is not over unity, although it is, but I'm not trying to show you over unity. I'm trying to show you scalar wave technology, or radiant energy technology, as Tesla calls it. I don't really like when people go in and then try to take away the fame of Tesla, and he says it's radiant energy. We should call it radiant energy forever. He not invented it, but discovered it. And uh, then we kind of forgot about it for the last hundred years, and <laughs> <laughs> things that he said that doesn't happen, happens. No, things that he says that we say can't happen, does exactly what he says. So I built this device, Literally, I, I have out of the book and I have photocopies out of the book. I just took the calipers and expanded it, expanded it to exactly the dimension that he gave, not knowing what's going to happen exactly. He hadn't read about it. And so it did exactly what he said. I mean, literally to T what he said. Now, I was kind of like, wow, I'm blown away by this. And it's a very simple device. We'll talk about it in a little bit more detail. It's very set up here. It's actually got a bulb hooked up to it at the far end of the room. You can't see the wires because they're 20, no, 38 gauge wire, but they're there. At his, one of his talks in the book, he said he set up his device, put a bulb at the end of the room and lit it. I have not tested this tonight. This is the first time for us. We've never tested it. I assume it's going to work because Tesla said so. I've never, he's never let me down. It might not work, but the wires are there, but they're very small. 